positioning is the most important thing in this game. And you'll never rank up, no matter how good your gun skill is, if you don't understand good positioning. And if you're still watching, I'll even give you a bonus thing. The reason why this angle or this spot to play, this position is the best place to play, is because you can fight Big Window. You can fight Ruins if you want, safely. If people push Aqua, you have the angle here. And if you guys didn't know, you can even boost up here for an off angle and fight into Aqua there and kill the guy planning like this and one tapping him in the head. And if anyone runs through Hookah, you can fight the running through Hookah here because this is the last angle any attacker would check. I'm one of the best Rainbow Six Siege players in the world. And if you guys want to get better at the game, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. And if you couldn't tell, right there, I have my own charm in the game too. The way you get my charm is very simple. You head over to my Twitch channel. The link is in the description. You sub for $5 and you have the charm forever. It's one of the best charms in the game. And let's continue today's video. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over positioning, how to know when you're in danger without being shot at, right? A lot of you guys get rank stuck because you play in spots that you leave yourself exposed in and you're just unaware of when to move how to move where to play early round where to play late round so we're going to go over everything i think coastline's perfect because coastline and border are known to be team deathmatch maps they're maps that you are mainly attempting to frag on so people assume there's no strats which isn't true so i'll prove I'll prove two different things to you that positioning does matter and that it doesn't matter what map you're playing on. So uh, first with the staircase, what you need to get is that whenever people look to attack a staircase, right? You usually check for traps, right? Or you check the plat like this here, right? But as a defender, you need to know how to counter that. So as a defender... You guys don't want to play here and hold the staircase because you're exposed to multiple angles, right? And you don't want to lay down here. You want to go to the furthest point over, which is like here. The reason for that is because, again, it's just the levels of, of angle clearing, right? So it's traps. You check here. And then right after, you look up to the rotate, which means I'll skip you here in this area. And that is positioning, right? Good positioning leads to more kills, better gunfight scenarios. And you have to understand like level one level two and then the skip to level three because there's always a skip whenever you look at angles um and then obviously a good defender positioning will allow you to become a better attacker with positioning and angle clearing right because no longer will you go here here and then skip this you should hit that like that and then look further way up right because you'll get better now we went over staircases we're going to go over this vase area because this vase area is like a lot of other areas in the game you have a lot of angles in front of you because you or your random teammates make so many holes that you're unaware of where to play now, right? A lot of people don't really like to play this vase area because you're exposed to big window, you're exposed to 90, you're exposed to that rooftop area, or you used to be a lot more, not as much anymore. You're exposed to the door, and you're also exposed to the window. So first things first, when you make your rotates, you want to make your rotates as small as possible because it gives you more room to play. If I made the rotate hole massive, right? All of a sudden, now I'm exposed to the outside window. This window now has an angle on me on vase, all right? If I pop the whole window open and I now back up, look, now they can see me on vase. A lot of you guys may not have even known that you can see vase from the window, but this is why I get mad whenever you guys see me stream that people do strats and they don't know why they're doing it. They're just copying people. Um, so we want to make sure that we're not making holes too big. So this smaller hole lets me play here a little bit more comfortably. If I get wall banged, I don't get mad because I know at least the other guy knows the game, right? He's making the hole because he knows he can kill somebody on base. But in lower elo, nobody's going to wall bang that. They're going to sit in the window for a free kill and they're hoping someone crouches through and then they get the kill. And that's going to lead to more rounds for you because you're not going to be a dumbass who goes through that rotate, right? What side of the wall do you play on the right side or the left side? Well, you wouldn't play the left side. Why? Because you're going to be exposed to 90. That's just common sense, right? So now you're playing on this side. You have a smaller rotate and you made this unplayable area a little bit more playable. 
And obviously, if you crouch up, now you don't have that angle from the window. You're not exposed to the door. You're not exposed to the window because you're going to keep it soft and the rotate small. Now it's playable. But if that hole is here, you actually can't play this area unless you play up against the reinforcement. And the reason why I don't like being up against this reinforcement is because I don't like being exposed to anyone walking up the staircase at the same time I'm trying to peek and I'm covering the audio from a barbed wire of, or if there's no traps and you're dead. Now, once you get better at understanding all the angles I can see you, you can start messing with a few things. So we're going to go now to a spot that is called Pirate. Uh, comp players like myself have called this Pirate for a long time. And I'm going to go over uh, the good and the bad parts about Pirate. So obviously you're exposed to the window. So usually an Azami goes here. So that first angle gets taken away. Don't worry about it. But even then, now you're exposed to the outside hookah door. So you really can't play up against the bomb unless you're 100% sure that 90 is clear. Now you're going to ask, why is this entire wall open? Are you supposed to open it? Who opens it? It really depends who you play with. Some people will leave it completely soft because they don't want to be exposed, and that's fine. But if you're going to be somebody that has the brain cells to not peek outside because you don't have to, then you can just back up and look. Now I'm not exposed to 90 anymore. I can peek it like this, right? And I can, and I can be safe from the window, right? Or I can play this area like right here where I'm not exposed to aqua. I'm crouched underneath the hole, and I'm also not exposed to the outside door. So now I can fight this safely. You just want to test the limits and see where you can play. My biggest pet peeve is when people make a rotate that is running here or like standing because you can't crouch. And then you can't play like whack-a-mole and like try to get your one tap kill, all right? So you have to think about what rotates are going to do to you and like how it's going to affect your positioning uh, and where other places are to play. Like you guys can play this angle here. This angle actually you can see outside. I like playing this angle. I like being able to sit here on the quad wall and then peek outside. Now obviously you're exposed to here, so just be careful because you don't want to die to that. That would just be really ridiculous. Just put yourself in a spot there. Um, as you rank up and you establish a duo, then once you understand how I see angles, you'll see the same, the angles the same as me. So now you guys can reinforce these two walls, right? Your buddy can put barbed wire on the door like this in your duo queue, right? Now barbed wire, there's a key on that wall. They don't have a hard breach. They can't get in and you tell your friend to sit right there and play. And what you're going to do at quad wall is you're going to play here, right? And now you have his Hall of Fame. Look at this angle. Look, now you can fight his Hall of Fame when he's sitting in the corner. And if your buddy has a shotgun or an SMG, as you're shooting and fighting this guy, he can sneak his way up and then swing close and kill the guy in Hall of Fame. So then now you're learning that with all these angles in the game, you can now bounce them off of each other, right? You can, you can do a lot of cool different things. Um, to make it a more winnable situation. So if I was playing here, I'm fighting the window, right? I'm fighting the window, fighting the window. And I know they're bottom left of the window. Then if your friend is in here in hookah, he now knows the guy bottom left on this window. So he'll stay crouched. He's covered from all angles. And now he'll stand up and he can one tap the guy that's on the bottom left corner. Now you guys are playing off of each other and it works well. Okay. Now, lastly, when it comes to attacking the outside of this platform area, I know there's a lot of stuff in here but a lot of you guys want to kill the, the attacker that goes like this so what i'm going to teach you is again angle clearing as an attacker you guys are going to do this so you walk up you peek quad window make sure no one's there or pool window then you check the bomb angle right then you check the standing angle here then you check the next standing angle then you're getting close you check the rotate hole and then you're looking close right so I'm going to add an angle as a defender that you can play the spawn kill from, but it's a delayed spawn kill. You're going to boost up. You're going to stand. And now you can see that little area. That's where my head was popping up right there. So a lot of people don't expect to die to the boost angle because it's not an angle that people use, right? It's going to, I'll be up there with Doc. That's where my head is going to be with Doc. And if I turn around, look, that's the hole. So I'm teaching you an angle that you didn't know. You boost up. You, you can one tap the guy walk up the stairs because this guy either is going like this or he's gonna go and look at the bomb and you're gonna be all the way up there with Doc getting your free kill every single time. These videos aren't going to be perfect because again, I'm restarting my Siege channel. The other ones are gonna have way more detailed. I hope 
this one was good enough for you to understand that, again, every place that you play in, you're going to be exposed to multiple angles. You just got to know how to manage it. You have to know where you belong, when you belong there, where are the best places to play based on breaking down angles. Positioning is the most important thing in this game, and you'll never rank up no matter how good your gun skill is if you don't understand good positioning. And if you're still watching, I'll even give you a bonus thing. The reason why this angle or this spot to play, this position is the best place to play is because you can fight Big Window. You can fight Ruins if you want safely. If people push Aqua, you have the angle here. And if you guys didn't know, you can even boost up here for an off angle and fight into Aqua there and kill the guy planning like this and one tapping him in the head. And if anyone runs through Hookah, you can fight the running through Hookah here because this is the last angle any attacker would check while running into the site. You can fight Cool Vibes, you can fight Hall of Fame, and then you can fight the door here and 90 there. So you learned max positioning. If you are a solo queue player, you would play here every single round because you can do every job while playing one spot. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.